Hello, my name is Amy Thorne Thompson, and I'm the Acting Executive Director for Sister Song Women of Color Reproductive Justice Collective. We are a national Southern-based organization working to amplify and strengthen the voices of indigenous women and women of color to ensure reproductive justice through securing human rights for all people, but especially women and girls of color. We are proud to work with an amazing set of organizations from around the country today to talk about how we can RJ the census. And what does that even mean? Well, it's really about making sure that people understand how important the census is and how it has a real impact on our families and our communities. The information we get from the census shapes where billions of dollars of federal funding goes, meaning our information tells the federal government what kind of support and programs we need in our communities. Census data also helps researchers and policymakers understand our needs and what's changed in the last 10 years. Some folks are considered hard to count, especially young people, immigrants, and people of color. Communities that are undercounted may not receive their fair share of representation in Congress. This is a big deal because a fair count is central to ensuring that lawmakers enact the policies that best promote women and girls' health and economic security. The census will impact how money is allocated to healthcare programs at the federal level. And right now, 33 million women and girls receive their health coverage through public insurance programs like Medicaid. And through Medicaid benefits, women and girls can access services such as family planning, mental health care, cancer screenings, and disability services, including home health care, transportation, and other therapeutic supports. Medicaid also covers roughly one in three million women with disabilities. And while there are challenges with this program, like the federal ban on abortion coverage, we know that this program is essential to the health of many of our families and in our communities. The data from the census also helps inform a number of other key programs like the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, which provides food assistance to low-income households, and WIC, the Women, Infants, and Children Program, which helps meet nutrition needs. Programs for childcare and early childhood education and affordable housing, all those things that we need and we want rely on census data to determine the needs of people living in poverty. The data from the census is used in so many decisions that are vital for us, our families, our communities, and have a huge impact on the way we are able to take care of ourselves. Let's ensure that we are counted because we deserve our fair share and we demand fair representation. So be counted. Please visit www.2020census.gov today and fill out the census form for you and your family. Don't forget to include the little ones or your elders. We know that this is a hard time and we wish you and all your loved ones the best. We know we will get through this together and Sister Song will always be on your side doing whatever it takes to advance justice and liberation. Thank you.